Hi everyone, Lisa here from Down to Earth Gardening. Welcome to today's video, which is a quick and easy guide to lifting and storing your canna lily rhizomes. So I'm standing over here next to my beautiful canna lily, and they do come in some different colors and some different heights. Um, this one here is red, and wow, it's probably six seven feet tall at this point so I have to kind of keep it to the side of the garden not to obstruct the view of the pond but the leaves generally will come in green burgundy some um, nice little bit of variegation in them but if you live north of zone 8 planting zone 8 or hardiness zone 8 then you have to lift the rhizomes for the winter and store them. So if you're lucky enough to be in zones eight through 10, then they're fine in the ground. They're somewhat of a tropical plant. So before we get down to lifting the bulbs, because we're gonna show you how we do it, uh, I just wanna talk about how I just said bulb, but they're actually rhizomes. So they are commonly referred to as bulbs because they do look more like a bulb in that they're kind of uh, more rounded, but they're technically a rhizome. So the best time to lift them is after we get hit with a hard frost. And I will tell you, we haven't been hit yet, although there's been warnings. But the issue for me is I'm going away for a little bit on a vacation, and I'm nervous that when I come back, the ground's gonna be frozen. So if you get to that point, and you get out there and the ground's frozen, it's too late, there's moisture in them, and it really, you won't really be able to work with them or even dig. So right when the first frost hits, um, or second, is really the ultimate time. So I'm right on the cusp of that, it's a little tiny bit early. So the first thing that we do, sadly, is we cut them down, and then we dig them up. And I'm going to have Josh here. He's currently filming me right now. But we're going to switch and I'm going to have him do a little bit of the work because it sometimes does take a lot of muscle to get these rhizomes out of the ground. You'll see how big they are and they also multiply, which is really wonderful. So when you lift them, you can divide them and give them away or just have more for other areas, other gardens. Um, or you can also just store them and then divide them in the spring. So up to you what you would like to do. We're kind of in a rush today, so we're going to put them all in our crate. And um, next year we'll worry about where to plant them and who to gift them to. Okay, so we have a lot of babies here. Um, we were just saying that I actually got these from a client. She had so many. She was giving them away to all of us last year. So I probably planted about this many. So we were just talking, and it was maybe six or eight rhizomes, I think. Uh, but now look at how many more we have this year. And so this is just from one summer, we have all these rhizomes. So a couple of them we split. But um, as far as digging them up, it does take a lot of muscle. And as you could see, when Josh was digging them out, 
he went a little wider than the clump. So he went a few inches out because the rhizomes do get quite beefy here. And then just dug them all out. And they kind of divided themselves when he was digging. So at this point, um, it's good if you can get as much of the soil and mulch out of them as possible. And then if you have the time, I would lay them out not on a cement floor, so not a garage floor, but lay them out on a table, some cardboard, lay them out in crates. Your wagon is fine. And just let them dry for um, a day or two inside. So no moisture. We're trying to let them dry out. And then you can go ahead and store them. So you can store them in cardboard boxes is fine. If you have some crates, that's wonderful. I purchased these crates, which I do use for my dahlias. And I love them because when they're empty, they stack. And they come, I think, in sets of threes, and then they go ahead and stack um, one on top of each other. So I'm really loving these. And I will put them in the description. I'll put the link in case you're, if you're interested in these here. So I'm just going to, because I'm in a rush, I'm going to try to get as much dirt off as possible and put them in my crate. And then you want to check them throughout the winter, make sure there's no moisture, you don't want them squishy. And then that's it. They're going to rest for the winter. Now, in the beginning of the video, I mentioned that the ultimate time to dig your can of rhizomes is really after we get a frost or two. And like I said, mine had to come out early because we're leaving, we're going away for a trip. And I just want to say that they will be fine. So totally fine. I'm probably just about a week early. It's still fine to go ahead and remove them. It's just the longer that you can let them go, that's really when they're taking in their energy and storing their energy for next year's growth and flowers. So I love my canna lilies. I noticed a lot of hummingbirds around them this year, and I'm definitely going to be planting some more of them next year and giving some away. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please tap like and subscribe to our channel because we have lots more gardening fun coming your way.